I'm Terry over at the Robin's Nest by Terry. I want to show you a couple of the new products that I just got in. As you know, may know, I paint the originals and then I send them off so that they are UV printed on wood. These stand up great in the weather um, and I can sell them much cheaper than when I hand paint things. So I love the scare. Well, let's do the ghost first. He was a project inside of my Painting for Profits group. Um, and so I taught him how to paint this. And then I took the original, sent it over, and they came back. They are 18 inches tall. They, maybe I should make a bow for them, shouldn't I? I'll see if I can do that. Um, so without a bow, they're going to come with a hanger. They are $40. So leave a message in the comment. They, I only have, I think, eight of them left out of that order. And then I have six left of Mr. Scarecrow. He is $45. And we're going to put a scarf on him. I made an area for a scarf. But I couldn't find any of my burlap. And I know I have got more burlap than I know what to do with. But I have a feeling it is upstairs in my loft. And if I went up there, it'd be really tough to get down because it is scorching hot here. I bet it's, whew, I, I know it's over 100 here in my building. I couldn't imagine what it is up in that loft. So let me bring you up over here so I can see comments. Whew, it's been a long weekend, you guys, or a long week. It's been uh, cl citywide cleanup sales. We got so much. We ended up taking four truckloads to the town dump. Um, and I got a storage unit full of really good stuff for a garage sale. And then, you know, all that stuff that I can't sell anymore that's too big because I don't do craft shows. I got a lot of good stuff. You guys, I threw away a nine foot fully flocked Christmas tree that I bought two years ago. I'll never put it up. It's beautiful. Put it on KZ Buy Sell for free. Nobody wanted it. It went to the trash today. Oh, I hated to do that. But those Christmas trees take up so much room. I've got a smaller one. I just don't. I'm never home. I'm always in my shop. And when I put it up, I've got to put it up in the living room and my husband says it blinds him when he's trying to watch TV and nobody comes over really. Everybody's got their own trees. So I'm in, I'm downsizing, but I really hated to throw it away. It was even already decorated, but you can only hold on for it for so long, right? And it's bad. If you can't give it away for free, you know, you got to throw it. But if I would have waited maybe in November, it would have been worth something. But I don't got time or the space to hold it till November. Uh, let's see. Hi, Sandy. I have no air today, and it is very hot. Hi, Wanda. Marcy, no air yet. Now that we got citywide cleanup sales done, I still got to order air conditioning gauges. So... We're still a ways from getting air. All right, I'm going to put you down here, and we're going to figure out how to put a scarf. Maybe I should have plugged in my hot glue gun on Mr. Scarecrow. Yeah, Maybe I should have ironed my material, huh? There's a lot, and I already had a lot of burlap somewhere. But we're gonna try this and see. Yep, we're gonna need a hot glue gun. Hold on. So we got a lot of stuff ready, or 
kind of sorted it in the storage unit that is not air conditioned either. So I got a lot to go to the auction, a lot for the garage sale. I even went through tubs of signs that we used to wholesale. And I was like, oh my gosh, do you ever do stuff from a long time ago and you're like, how did that ever sell? <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at with that stuff. It was like, I, you know, it's crazy how much better you get with practice. Okay, I think I'm going to need that much. Go all the way around. It, it was so bad, and I was so excited to... Do you ever get excited just to dump stuff and just get it out of your way? I was so excited yesterday, and I told my husband, you know, now that my Yorkies are gone that used to sleep with me and stuff, I mean, my bed... They say you should change your mattress every seven or eight years. I don't even know how long old my mattress is. It's got to be... I think it's since we moved into this house about 11 years. So, I was in the mood to throw and threw my mattress and box springs away. <laughs> and then, um, hold on, let me get my iron. So mattress and box spring went. Then I thought, oh, while I'm getting rid of stuff, let me get rid of my wicker dresser. It wasn't really a dresser, but it was, I've had it for a long time. It was wicker and wood and one day it was really nice. But I was like, let's just dump it and go get some new. So yesterday I went and got a new bed, new mattress and box springs anyway. And we went to a furniture store, and I figured that they would sell, you know, name brand mattresses. And I was looking for Sealy or Tempur Pedic or something like that. I don't know what kind we got, but I was like, just this one's good. Just give me this one. So I have a new box spring mattress coming on Monday. <laughs> So cleanup days cost me a lot of money. Trying to simplify, yes. Hi, Kathy. Thank you, Linda. Um, I believe it's probably 111 in here at least. Yes, these are finished pieces. They're going to come with the um, scarf here. And the scarecrows are $45. They will also have a wire hanger. I'm going to put some raffia with this one in case somebody wants to put a raffia bow on it. I've already got the sunflower and the leaf up there, but I think it'd look cute and I got tons of raffia. <laughs> got more raffia than I know what to do with. So I'm going to include raffia. I am actually thinking because, you know, I do so many door hangers, and now that I have the process down, you know, Steve was always my go-to guy. I, I miss Steve so much. But he's having such a wonderful time with his family and at his new job where he doesn't have to work 24-7, it seems like. So I learned how to make my own scans now with the use of this AI apps. So they came out perfect. I can go in. It's like having Photoshop without learning how to use Photoshop to get the colors right and having a good time with it. So I'm thinking of just starting a door hanger of the month group. And, you know, I paint four to six door hangers a month. So I would just pick one of those a month and they would go on automatic. They would be a little bit cheaper than just buying them one-on-one. -on -one. And I don't know, I may even make it to where they're exclusive only to that 
Door Hanger of the Month Club. Oh, you know what? I need my husband to do a little bit of sawing on these. I should have made it on the next, I gotta place another order because so many of these sold. I need him to cut into that a little bit more so I can get that up in there. All right. Let's put it there. I kind of pour it in it. So the guy that I buy these off of, who prints them for me, he more and more of the people who do door hanger of the month groups are having them processed like this. So I'm thinking that I may just go ahead and have automatic shipment of one a month. Okay. Rather than cut this, I probably should have made a pattern for it so I don't have to figure this out each time. Now these would be cute whether you, um, it'd be really cute put on a steak actually. Oh, you know what they would look good as is if I had my husband put a wood um, one by three behind it and then you could attach like a probably a man's small shirt to it too. That would be pretty. That would be really good. So I am going to be wholesaling. In fact, that's something that, ah, I cut my finger. Hope it don't bleed. All right. Make sure. Let's see. And then I've got some ball things to decorate the start with. Nope, not going to bleed. Thank goodness. Okay, so you guys, you know what I did today? It's hot. My husband found um, a new bike. My grandson outgrew his bike that never got the training wheels taken off of it. And he's six. So I was running down the road trying to teach him how to ride a bike. <clears throat> Needless to say, that didn't go good. And Brittany looked it up on Facebook that said, how to teach your kid to ride a bike. Took a towel, um, rolled it up, rolled up the towel. She put it around his waist and she held on to the towel so she could hold him up while he's riding a bike. I don't think he ever wants to try to ride a bike again. You know, when we were kids, didn't we just get up and go? It was like, you didn't, you just got up and went. Now it's like you fall down one time. Yep, I'm done. Um, Angela, I will have these through fall. I mean, you don't have to order them today. I will always have these. Getting ready to also start a wholesale page. And I'm going to be selling them wholesale as well. Okay, now we're getting down to the good part. Now I've got to go get some decorations. Oh, 
And luckily, the thrift store had some fall arrangements. Yay! Oh, Carol, that's a good idea. A collar would be cute. Oh, that would be cute. I never even thought that's a really good idea. Okay, let's, I've got a shirt here. I'm the queen of shirts with all my sitting characters. away all my men's flannels because I don't make the big sitting characters anymore. I just make the small ones. So I only buy the little shirts. Do you know how hard it is anymore to buy plaid and final sh uh, flannel shirts? That's why I started selling them as kits. Problem is, I do have to have him cut a steak. This would look better with a man shirt. This is too small. But what I'll probably do is sell them as a door hanger head and then sell them as a kit with the bar across it, maybe even the hands. Think of that. So tomorrow, I, I've got this whole thing going on now where I'm going to get back to doing what I started doing in 2017 was when I first pushed the go live button and started just making my things because I was taking them to craft shows. And so I would just go online and paint. And then it got to where people wanted to buy what I was making. And so I would paint and they would bid on it while I was painting. It was a lot of fun. And then, you know, 2020 came and kind of started the virtual home decor marketplace, which starts at seven o'clock tonight. And then I just kind of quit selling and I'm gonna get back to doing that. That's fun because you never know how it's gonna turn out. So, I mean, I know I haven't thrown anything away for a long time, so I know it's probably going to be good. But tomorrow I'll have to kind of clean in front of my table because my husband's going to join me. He's going to read comments. And while I paint. So that should be fun. There, I like that. You know what I'd like better? Yeah. And he's come on. You guys have seen him when we've done like, you know, his flea market stuff and we uh oh. And we auction it off. Hold on. cats want to come in and so now we get to sit with the door closed okay. so I'm gonna do this have him put 
a hanger on it, and then I'll hang it on my front door and take a picture of it so you guys can see it. Should I put it underneath the leaves, maybe? Let me cut this up a little bit. Okay, before I put that there, I do want to add a little bit of paint to it. So this was the project inside of my Painting for Profits membership group two weeks ago. We did it to where I painted it like this. And then, because I have people in that group who paint for a hobby, and that's a great way to paint it because it took about two hours to paint it that way. And then... I don't know where the other one is. It's around here somewhere. But I painted it like you were going to take it to a craft show. So we left the sunflower off. We left the leaf off. We left the band off. All we did was rapidly painted the hat and this part. And then we attached a ribbon for that, attached some leaves and a flower. And it's something you could paint fast and easy. So, all right, give me paint, paint, paint. So I haven't shown you yet that owl. You saw the round owl that we did on the round. Um, but then on Thursday I made it a bigger owl, and it has the colors of Indian corn in it. I love it. I know, we need, a, we need a lot of things. <laughs> I need a ton of things done. Yeah, plaid colors. Would, or I could, I've got a lot of, um, you know, the red and blue. What did we call that back in the day? It was a special kind of fabric. I don't even remember. You know, it's the checkered stuff. It was really hot in the primitive. I can't remember the name of it. Mine's the cheap $2 a yard at Hobby Lobby, or I think Walmart carried it. Right now, since I went and got a new bed last night, my husband's home. Uh, shampooing the carpet in the bedroom for the new bed. <laughs> He's like, I got a lot of other things that we need to get done. <laughs> it was just on a whim. And after we took the bed yesterday, He's like, we're going straight to the furniture store. You're going to pick it out because I know you. You'll never go and do it. And I'm like, just go buy me a bed. Just go buy one. Nope. You got to try it out, so... As soon as we left and dropped it off, he went straight to the furniture store and he said, buy a bed because I ain't picking it out. I don't like making decisions ever. So, so I went in, didn't see exactly what I wanted, but I was like, uh, just give me that one. They can have it here Monday. Oh, anyway, I did throw the one dress shirt away and we looked at dressers, you know, bedroom sets, and it's like, ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I really like the headboard with the farmhouse lights over it. But then it's like, how long is that going to be in style? So I did ma not make a decision about the, uh, 
bedroom furniture. All right, I like that burlap. I think that turned out cute. But I think that these need to go that a better bow. Ooh, and I got some brown raffia too. I've always wanted to make a Highland cow like this and then that doesn't work when I have that knot there. And then use raffia over the face of the cow. I bought way too many bundles of dark brown raffia. But we had a great productive week and getting the garage cleaned out. I am, we dumped wood like no other. I still got some uh, half inch plywood that I know we'll never use. rid of a lot of, I don't even know why we got him except that my brother-in-law's father-in-law passed and he had a portable sawmill thing and had big slabs of oak wood and live edge wood. I kept a couple pieces. He didn't even let me see exactly what he had because I know he had some that had the bark on the back side, the full bark. But it's all right. I did save some, um, I saved some spindles. I saved some wood chunks that I had cut for pumpkins. Found a whole box of old hymnals. Hi, Pamela. G uh, no, it wasn't gingham. It was remember hi Sandy thank you um, we tried I put it on Casey by cell I put the cart that we used to carry our grid wall it was a nice sturdy cart with expensive wheels on it uh, a really nice miter saw a band, not the band saw, the two miter saws that were really nice, a DeWalt um, scroll saw that was really nice. Put them on buy sell for 25 bucks a piece. Couldn't get a dime out of them. No, Buffalo plaid. Tina, you won the thing of the day. Buffalo plaid. Couldn't give nothing away. Not even my big Christmas tree. So, you know what? I think it's kind of to the point where used to my husband would love to find stuff like that but now everybody just goes and buys new and it's not even as expensive as it used to be back then when you held on to all that stuff so nobody wanted it it's sitting out beside our trash can you know how you set stuff outside and hope that somebody comes and gets it before it rains it's still sitting there it's going to go to the scrapyard if nobody comes and gets it by monday I mean, usually people will stop and pick that stuff up, but how many how many younger people use saws? Probably. Homespun, you ladies got it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go. Tonight is 
uh, virtual home decor marketplace. It starts at seven o'clock tonight. I will be on at 6.45 to introduce it. But these scarecrows, if you go back to the beginning, are $45. They are printed on wood. I just got them in a couple days ago and they are nice. I'm gonna put a hanger, or I have them drill two holes up here, put a hanger on it, and they, I'll take a picture of what he looks like on my front door. But if you want one, just comment below. Um, I've got six of these left. I had 12 of them a couple days ago. And I had to get a picture taken because I'm getting ready to put them over on my website. Yes, Jackie, nobody will take it. I put it on all the buy sells around here. Nobody wants it. Pam, yes, I have about 200 designs inside of Painting for Profits. There are 19, which is 47 a month. And the other one, the $17 a month has about 20 in there. Because it's just a once a month. In the 47, you get them all the way back to January of 2020. So, and then everything is also still it's on a website, so they're nice and neat, and then everything is still on the Facebook group, so both of them. But this pattern was two weeks ago inside the $47 group, doing it this way and doing it a quick and easier way. So, oh. Jackie, isn't it crazy? Nobody wants anything anymore when it's used. I wouldn't even ask my son-in-laws if they wanted it because whenever they want something, they just go buy it brand new. Sandy, I will, it's right at the top of the page. If when you go off, uh, it tells you the difference in both groups and I can post it here as well. But when you go off, it's right at the top. So, and this was a really nice project. That was this week. This one, we got these in yesterday too. These are $40. This was in the $47 group um, last month, I think. And then let me show you this month. I mean, this week. Here's the one for this week. And then on Thursday, we just did the owl we, without the background. I've got my husband cutting a couple more. I had got the wing wrong, so he's fixing it for me. But those are three of the patterns. And this one was this month as well. Oops, like that. So all kinds of different, all kinds of levels. Not everything is this detailed. Not everything is this good, but there's over 200 of them. Um, <laughs> probably not worshiping to Canada, that's for sure. I don't even know how much that would cost. Those things are heavy. I even, yeah, like I said, I had them at the garage sale. I had them on all the buy stalls and all the area. I really thought that cart would have went because that cart was so sturdy and had the big inflatable tires on it. My husband's like, I'm going to take the tires off and pitch it if nobody takes it. Because the tires were expensive. So, um, yeah. all right, everybody, I'm going to let you go. I will post these on my page for sale. And um, I will be having these printed on wood. These are going to be here next week printed on wood. The ghost is now available. And the scarecrow is available. So, all right. I will be back here. Remember, Virtual Home Decor Marketplace starts at 7 p.m. tonight. Lots of cute stuff. Michelle. Okay. I have your email address already. Michelle joined my group. All right, everybody, have a great evening. I will see you at, at 6.45 as I introduce over on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. We have four or five sellers tonight, 
You guys, we are only two weeks away from our Christmas in July special. Last week was our fall special. Can you imagine? Two weeks, they start selling Christmas. All right, everybody, you all have a great evening. Bye-bye.